Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming this morning. Uh, can I introduce uh, my good friends who are uh, here, the president of the association, one of the people responsible in the first place for me becoming a member of parliament. Secondly, the chairman of the association, by the way, this lady's name is Anne Anderson. The chairman of the association, equally responsible for me becoming a member of parliament, Michael Clark. And uh, Shuris Patel, who is the treasurer of the association. And all these are good people who have supported me enormously well over the past eight years. And I hope will continue to support me over the next uh, <coughs> years to come. Uh, can I first of all give you some good news? Well, I think it's good news. Um, my doctors tell me I'm in remission. I think you all know that I've been uh, undergoing chemotherapy for low-grade lymphoma. Well, my doctors now tell me that I've, I've finished that process. I'm in remission. Um, I've got to have uh, a scan uh, 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 to know the extent of it, but it's all good news from my perspective. And I wanted to tell you that uh, because I didn't want you to think any news that I might give you later was connected with that, uh, my particular illness, uh, which I must say I've been treated immensely well for at the Fountain General Office. I have nothing but praise uh, for uh, the way I've been treated under Mr. Mattel, my consultant, and the staff of the Haematology Department and the Talbot Butler Ward. If anybody tells you that the NSS, NHS is in crisis, in the oncology department in Northampton, I can tell you that is not true. And I could also tell the people of this area that we are very lucky to have uh, the staff and the support uh, with regard to cancer treatment that we have in Northampton General Hospital. So I did want to make that point. Can I also make the point that I've had nothing but goodwill and offers of prayers right across the piece from the people of Northampton and beyond. Uh, and it, that crosses the political divide as well. So I do want to make my thanks known to all of those people that have been so kind, so supportive, and offering up prayers on my behalf uh, uh, since it was announced uh, that I had cancer. But enough of that, because we now go on <coughs> to talk about what happens in the future. And the first thing to say is that I have decided not to seek uh, reselection uh, as Member of Parliament for Northampton South. What was the, um, the spark that made you sort of think about standing down as an MP? Uh, the fact that I'd done five, I would have done five years in, in, in opposition and five years in government meant I'd seen the spectrum. Uh, but really the fact that I shall be 73 and I think that um, the people of Northampton uh, deserve somebody with perhaps a, a little more energy um, uh, certainly as time goes by um, and the fact that I want to do other things in uh, the remaining time the Almighty gives me. Do you think sometimes with your decision as you said then, do you think when people make decisions that age is is at the forefront and, and should it be or should it not be? It's a factor. Uh, I feel immensely energetic. I've been re-energised by the treatment. That's good. Um, but you, nobody knows how long that's going to last. Now I suppose you could say that nobody at any stage their life knows that. But in the main um, you've got uh, uh, more chance of being more energetic when you're younger than you are when you're in your 70s and beyond. And it's that, um, uh, together with the fact that uh, I have um, a partner, I have a family, I have grandchildren, uh, I have other things I want to do, uh, and those people I want to see more of. And politics does take its strain in that respect. You've mentioned, obviously, your decision is clearly not uh, linked to your no remission from the cancer. That's yes, right. But do you, ha had, do you think that has had a bearing on your thought process, i.e. that suddenly if one is faced by difficult news, you start looking at life a lot differently? You, yeah, I think you start thinking about your own mortality uh, more. You know, there's the old saying, um, there, are, there are no... Um, um, 
atheists in foxholes. I think it does make me think about the UN mortality, but it makes made me think about it in a positive sense. It means that if I'm lucky, what the Northampton General Hospital and Dr. Mattel and Mr. Mattel has done for me is to give me another 10, 15, even 20 years of life. That may be the case, and I'm hopeful that it is. And if that's the case, I want to repay them by using it productively. And I think I can do a lot of things locally um, that uh, I can have a real impact upon to better the lives of people in Northamptonshire generally um, than uh, perhaps I could in Parliament. Has, in a sense, then, from what you said, has the cancer, and now which is in remission, has it actually reinvigorated you? No, the treatment reinvigorated me. Uh, I hadn't realised how gradually lymphoma um, uh, nibbles away at your energy to the point where um, uh, in uh, s September of last year I was getting tired when I played 12 holes of golf. Um, and it just makes the point that if we hadn't got these wonderful facilities at the Thunton General Hospital, people like me would gradually, gradually drift into a totally non-energetic existence for a while and then pass away. That doesn't happen anymore and I'm very grateful that that is the case. You're obviously not going to be re-elected or re-selected. <laughs> when, when do you think you're going to miss being an MP? Well, it may be that having done what I've done, um, I won't miss it, but I don't know. I've made a lot of friends down there. I've met a lot of some people who I didn't care for very much, and that's not restricted to party boundaries. Um, I'm not over keen on the patronage that the House of Commons works on, that unless you are um, uh, within a certain age bracket, and um, uh, tend to take the party line all the time, you often don't get uh, selected for other jobs. Um, and that degree of patronage concerns me. And finally, is it nice, in a way, to leave on Brian Bindley's terms? <laughs> I haven't thought of that. Uh, um, I suppose it is. <laughs> <laughs>